everybody, welcome to another video. Hope you're ready to flex those brain muscles because today we're gonna talk about a very important topic, exponents. And this is stuff you need to know from algebra all the way up to higher level calculus. You have to know the laws associated with exponents, their properties, what they are, and how to use them. So let's go and get right into it with what is an exponent. And in general terms, it's usually expressed like this, x to the n. And what we call x in this case is the base and we'd call n the exponent. And how we'd say it out loud, if we read this out loud, you'd probably say x to the n power. So power is basically interchangeable with exponent. It's just another word and it's more commonly used. So if I were to say this out loud, I'd say two to the third power, right? And what this means is x, or two in this case, multiplied by itself three times. So in more general terms, it means x multiplied by itself n times. So let's go ahead and do this example, two multiplied by itself three times. So what do we really have here? We have two times two times two, two multiplied by itself one, two, three times. So what does this give us? Simply eight, right? Not too bad. Okay, what if we have this? What if we wanna make this simpler, make this kind of write it in the shorthand? And that's what this is exactly used for. So x is multiplied by itself, in this case, one, two, three times. So we can rewrite this as x to the third power, all right? So that's just a general kind of introduction, but let's go ahead and get into our exponent laws. All right, real quick, before we continue, this technically isn't an exponent law, but I think it's worth noting, and this is kind of the rules on how you can combine like terms, basically adding and subtracting things with exponents in them. And the only way we can do this, add and subtract them, is that they have the same base and the same power. So in this case, we have three x squared plus four x squared, and you simply just add the coefficients. You add the constants out in front. So this can actually be simplified to seven x squared. Now let's look at something like this. Two x cubed, let's see, five y cubed. So we have the same power, but not the same base. So we cannot combine these. What about this, three x? Okay, we have the same base as here, but not the same power. So this is actually as simple as this can get. I'll go ahead and erase the equals here. So yeah, it's just worth noting the rules. You probably already knew this, but let's go ahead and get in. Now we'll get into the exponent laws. All right, let's go ahead and get straight into our first exponent law. We have a product of powers, and maybe you see the word product and you think, Oh, multiplication, and you'd be exactly right. What we're doing is we're multiplying two things. And what this law says is that we, when we multiply two things with the same base, right, so these x's are the same, what we do is we simply add the exponents. So let's get straight into an example because the best way to learn these is not to memorize this. I don't have any of these rules memorized as far as the general terms. What's better to do is to get a feeling, get that math intuition going and just do a bunch of practice problems and really get a feeling for how this works. And then you'll just be able to do it without having to think of a formula. So let's go ahead and get into an example. We have x squared times x to the third power. So this means x times itself two times, x times x in other words, right? So x times x, and we have that being multiplied by x multiplied by itself three times, right? X times X and multiplication, the order doesn't matter. I can switch these X's so it doesn't matter. I don't have to worry about parentheses or anything. So what we really just have is five X's, right? X times X times X times X times X that can be rewritten as X to the fifth, which checks out with our rule here where we would have just taken the two and the three and added them. So now we can kind of see how this rule works, right? Instead of memorizing it. So let's get into another example. It's a little bit trickier just because now we have some numbers thrown in there, right? Don't get scared. So again, this is multiplication. And what this really is, is four things being multiplied. Five times x cubed times two times x to the fifth. I know it seems like these are grouped together, but really I can move these in whatever order I please because it's multiplication. The order doesn't matter. So the two is going to basically come out in front. And I'm going to multiply it by the, ten, by the five and get ten. And that's a pretty much general rule. When you have uh, constants in front of both, you just multiply the constants together and that's what's out in front of the product of these, right? And then I could just use my rule. I have three X's here, right? X times X times X. And I have five here, so I can simply add the three and the five and I'm gonna get 10 X 
to the eighth. So yeah, we've seen some examples. Let's get into our next rule. Alrighty, let's move on to our next rule. Now we are dealing with dividing. And if you can follow this trend, remember last time when we multiplied, we had the same base and we multiplied, we added the exponents. So now we have the same base and we're dividing. So we're gonna subtract the exponents. And that's exactly what the rule says. We have x to the n power over x to the n power. We simply subtract the exponents. So let's go ahead and look at an example so we can fully understand how and why this works. So on top here, we have x to the fourth, which can be rewritten as x multiplied by itself four times. So x times x times x times x. And this is over x squared, which is just x multiplied by itself. So x times x. And you can see these x's will cancel. I have x and x there. x on bottom, x on top there. So what I'm left with is just x squared, which is 4 minus 2, right? So this is how you can see how this works, but we do have a rule. Okay, now we have this power to a power law, which says that if we have something raised to some power, and we're raising that whole thing to some power, we can simply multiply the exponents, okay? So let's see how this works with an example. x cubed, and we're squaring that x cubed, which means that we're multiplying x cubed by itself. So let's see if we can rewrite this. We're multiplying x cubed by itself. That's just x cubed times x cubed, right? x cubed times x cubed. Wait, this looks a lot like our product of a power rule. So we can just add the exponents, right? We just add the exponents, which gives us x to the sixth, which is three times two. So our law here checks out with our example. So let's see how this works again. X to the fifth times itself, basically, right? X to the fifth times X to the fifth. And again, we just use that same product of a power rule that we had already learned. And we could write out X times X times X. Basically, we'd end up with 10 X's. And that would give us X to the 10th power. But in short form, you can simply just distribute this power in and multiply. And that will always work for these cases. All right, so the next laws we got have to do with expanding or distributing powers, okay? So this is how it works when two things are being multiplied and the whole thing is being raised to some power, you can actually distribute that power to each thing inside this parentheses, all right? And the same goes for if it's a quotient, if it's some number over some number or variable, whatever it is, whatever the stuff in here is, the end distributes to every single thing in there, okay? So let's look at an example and see how this works. Again, I'm just gonna rewrite this as three X squared times itself three times, and we're gonna see how this works. So this is gonna be three X squared times three X squared times three X squared, right? And I can simply multiply three times three times three. That gives me the 27 and I can multiply x squared times x squared times x squared, so I'm adding the exponents, so two plus two plus two, and that gives me the x to the sixth. And look what would have happened if I had used this rule. The three distributes, I get x to the sixth. The three distributes here, I get three cubed, which is 27, right? So that's how that rule works, and what about this one? It's the same idea, I'm just gonna rewrite this as something times itself, x squared over y times x squared over y, and when I multiply two fraction, I just simply multiply across. So I do x squared times x squared. That gives me x to the fourth, x to the fourth. Sorry about that. x to the fourth over y times y. That is just y squared. I can think of these as first power, and I'm adding one plus one, right? So yeah, this is the final form of this. And look, if I would have used my rule here, I would have gotten to the same thing. So if you ever forget these rules, you can always really think about it and write everything out, but it gets tougher. What if I have this to the eighth power, right? To write that out eight times. So it is good to kind of intuitively know how these rules work. So I think those are the only rules I can get to, the only laws I can get to in one video. I'm gonna split it up. So in the next video, I'll have the rest where I'll talk about things that are raised to the zero power and talk about negative exponents and fractional exponents and that sort of thing. 
Uh, but hopefully this video helped leave comments and that sort of thing and leave questions. And if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep flexing those brain muscles and making those brain gains.